guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about coronavirus. I'm not gonna sit here and talk to you guys about how it works, what the virus does, and things that you should do outside of definitely wash your hands. We're gonna talk about what it's been doing to our lives, at least us as vet students. So I'm currently quarantined, kind of running out of things to do besides study, but it's probably for the best. So what has happened since coronavirus here in vet school? So here's what happened. At first, everything was kind of like under control in the sense that we were okay, the school was like good with us continuing. But I don't know, things like turned around in two seconds and here I am quarantined at home, about to start my online rotations on Monday. First, I was on my equal internal medicine rotation, which was awesome, I learned a lot and everything was normal and then this whole coronavirus thing came and we were freaking out even though we still had not figured out how many cases there was in texas i'm not sure anyway definitely in college station there was none and there we are living our lives in rotation doing our thing and then i had three weeks of this rotation because the week in the middle was considered inter-semester so some people were not there because they were in vacation for spring break right i did not have that vacation which is good because that means i have vacation later anyway um during this time the university was trying to figure out ways of minimizing the exposure and kind of like containing this whole thing and it became difficult honestly at first we just decided to kind of try to clean our hands wear more gloves all the mask things and stuff but i think it, it evolved too quickly and other schools started to take other measures and i think that our school was then pressured to do so too and i completely understand it's a very serious matter and i hope no one is taking this virus lightly because it's causing people's deaths and I know it seems so little from our perspective if it hasn't affected you personally, but it's affecting people right now as we speak and I hope you guys are taking all the measures, staying home, washing your hands and doing everything you can to keep your family and yourself safe. So in terms of clinic, the university decided to minimize the exposure between students and other people and how they did that is by moving or canceling or postponing um, cases or appointments that were not emergency. So if the animal was gonna come on Tuesday, let's say for vaccines or just to be seen or a recheck, if it wasn't an emergency or absolutely necessary, then the university postponed those appointments. And that was okay because we were still open, we were still working and kind of busy, honestly, because we were only open for emergencies. And you would think, oh, then, then that's fine. You don't see a lot of people and like it's not hectic, but let me tell you, it was hectic things changed in the sense that the university would have like kind of like a checkpoint at the entrance of the university or more like the back really anyway the gates were there and then you had the vet emergency team kind of like screening people asking them questions about their travel history if they were sick if they knew someone that was sick and if they thought they were exposed to it i don't know what were the answers that you were supposed to give to these questions in order to pass by but they did the screening and then the owner would come into the parking lot with their animal and someone would come get the animal and the owner would stay in the car. So this is like really interesting, right? You're thinking like, how the heck am I supposed to take a history on this animal? Well, we would call them. That's what technology is here for. So we would either FaceTime or call the owners and kind of like obtain all the information that we could through the phone. And then we would see the patient inside and do as we had to do and kind of communicate with the client the whole time throughout the phone. So this was really cool and it's kind of interesting to see how people unite and find plans and ways to succeed and make things happen um, with these circumstances because it's really not easy and i think the university did a really great job at managing this the way that they could time passed it was only a few days and i guess they realized we could be less exposed than we were i'm not sure i don't know if if it was a case that happened i'm not entirely sure what made them do the next step but basically the university decided to cancel four-year students rotations and it kind of sucks because you know you go into vet school and you know that your fourth year is going to be super clinical super hands-on and 
there's a lot of students that are graduating now in May, and I mean graduating, like getting their diploma because their graduation got canceled. And I can't imagine, I can't imagine someone telling me that my graduation is canceled. I've probably been waiting my whole life to walk that stage. But you know what? There's bigger things right now. Anyway, I can't imagine even like someone telling me, oh, by the way, the last few months of your school, gone online. So I really feel bad for those students that are graduating in May. I started in January and I still think it's a disadvantage for everyone. Um, I'm just starting my clinical year and all I want is to have all this clinical and hands-on experience and I feel like I know these circumstances are difficult so I have to kind of like cope and do the best I can with what I have but it really sucks you know it's it's opportunities that I'm missing and it has to be done because it's for the safety of everyone so I'm okay with doing that but you gotta understand how I'm feeling though it kind of like this sucks anyway now they decided even though that worked out fine for a few days and I think that the system was going good like the client in the car they get my pet they do the physical they do the treatment and everything and then they bring the pet back like I thought it worked out really fine but I guess the university still considered that we're getting exposed and that there was a lot of bodies in the hospital for the amount of work that we had to do I think I'm not sure, I mean, I know my service was pretty busy, but I'm sure some other services weren't as busy as mine, as you can imagine. I don't know what other services could not be that busy. But anyway, what I'm saying is that they decided to take this route as many other universities have now, and we're starting clinics online on Monday. I know a lot of universities are doing the same thing. For example, I still have friends in Grenada, Andy's in Grenada, and unfortunately, they're, their situation has like spiraled. I think it has been the craziest one yet because they had to leave the island. Like I'm still in disbelief that they could do that, but they took action and they were doing it quick because there's still no cases in Grenada, but there's cases in all the surrounding islands. And I think that's why they're trying to avoid this to happen. I know that it's a small island. There's so much or so many people you can take in a hospital there. And I'm sure they're taking these measures just because it's the wisest thing to do for everyone. I mean, if all the students get sick, I can't even imagine what they would do. So they decided to charter students to Miami or New York, and they've basically been taking like thousands of students a day since last week, I believe. And that's why Andy's here. And I'm really happy about it. I mean, I guess I don't quarantine alone now, which is great, but yeah, they're, it kind of sucks too for them, you know? They they were in paradise, doing their med school, their vet school, and you get in your rhythm, and like it's so much easier to study at the island because I feel like you're away from distractions and you kind of like go there just to study and you're very focused. So I can't imagine those people trying to focus at home online. But um, I guess I'm about to find out how it is as well. But yeah, we gotta try to do as best as we can with what we have. I know rotations online might be difficult or even like how, like I question myself, how am I gonna learn about equine orthosurgery online? Or, you know, those are things that you think that are very hands-on and I can't imagine how you can teach that without being there and physically doing things. But um, I'm gonna give this a try and you can only be optimistic about this and try the best that you can. So I'm gonna get assignments every day online and hopefully they will be beneficial and I'll let you guys know how that goes. As of now, I just wanted to wish you guys the best and hope that everyone's staying home safe. I'm gonna try to update y'all in the near future with how this is going and how I'm coping with this. I know that right now, all I can do is study, study, study because my NABLE, which is my board's exam, is in one month exactly, April 23rd. So I'm only gonna be studying and like taking little breaks here and there, but wish me luck, because I really, really need it. I've heard it's kind of like the hardest exam ever. Everyone that's taken has told me that they feel horrible after it, that they feel like they're gonna fail, but they don't end up failing. I don't know, I just hope the best. Pray for me, send me them good vibes. I'm gonna take that exam, but Hopefully I'll be able to update y'all with everything that's happening between now and then. And nothing. if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to talk. I think that this time of quarantine is the best time to connect. So talk to me, message me, DM me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.